Paul Chan already says that we are not going to be getting any cash handout uh, that was well flagged. Instead, he has introduced a 5,000 Hong Kong dollar cash voucher. Is this better? I can't really see the big difference, but I, I guess what really matters is that we're going to have some cash, yeah, whether it's e-voucher or not. And that's good news because, frankly, moving from a minus 6% growth with some wage and transportation subsidies to nothing, well, of course, we had a 10,000 uh, voucher last year. I mean, to nothing is pretty hard because the economy won't recover as fast as expected. And the reason is we've still been in a semi-lockdown for a couple of months already, and we don't know what is in store for the rest of the year. So in a way, I'm very happy to hear that there are some measures, whether it's e-voucher or you know, direct vouchers, frankly, it's, it's still a expenditure measure. And the same with the loan scheme. So all of these are good news. The question really is, and I think that's why the Hansen is going down, how are they going to finance all of this? And, and of course, one idea is, is as you said, it's stamp duty is going up, and, and this is not good news for the stock market. So I think that explains the movement. All right. So on, when, as you bring up the stamp duty, uh, the introduction of uh, more taxes, uh, this is clearly not the time to be doing this when uh, the economy uh, is in a recession, uh, down 6.1 percent. Uh, the financial secretary already says that we should be returning to growth this year. Uh, what do you make of his targets between three and a half and five and a half percent? Well, we have a, kind of we are at the lower end of his uh, of his of his bracket, which is pretty wide, as you you could see. And the reason is we actually lower our projection from four four point five to three point two, so lower end. And the reason is really we've lost a little bit of growth in this very first months of the year. Um, but but the, in a way, the trend, of course, will be uh, positive growth. Uh, there's a huge um, uh, base effect yeah, from minus six, which will show in the figures. And that is absolutely needed because last year, 2020, Hong Kong lost in tax uh, receipts in revenues about 18 months. So, so the deficit was 11% of GDP. They can't repeat this every year. It's not really about the vouchers, if I may say so. It's about the loss of revenue because of the very low growth. And in that regard, they need to find new sources of, of uh, tax revenue. I, I know it's not the right time. You're right, uh, absolutely right. But remember that it's been a record year for finance. I think that's what they're thinking of, of increasing the stamp duty, because that's where the growth is coming from.